Like and subscribe right now or this spider will crawl on your face while you're sleeping. The universe is full of surprises, and although we've researched a lot of them, something mesmerizing comes out every single day. Take the Earth's waters, for instance. It's no secret that much has been discovered about them. But on the other hand, there's still a lot to be studied. That's why it's only natural to run into completely interesting stuff once in a while when you dive in. So in today's video, we've compiled some of the most interesting finds by deep sea divers over the years. Have a look. Number 10, a lost city. Well, lost cities aren't completely unheard of, especially if you're familiar with Greek mythology. Think Atlantis. But as mentioned, this is all fictional. And the idea of an ancient city being buried under the sea remained far-fetched until just recently. In 2000, Egyptians ran into the ruins of a real-life ancient city near the canopic mouth of the Nile. That's about 2.5 kilometers into the Mediterranean Sea and about 10 meters below the surface. The city is probably one of the most prominently mentioned by ancient writers and historians such as Strabo, Herodotus, and Diodorus. In the Egyptian antiquity records, it was referred to as Thonis, while the Greeks called it Heracelion. That's why, at one point, historians believe these two names referred to two different cities. In its heydays, the city served as a trading post with its significance increasing in the late period of ancient Egypt, when it doubled up as a place for tax collection. It is believed that Thonis grew increasingly weak due to earthquakes and tsunamis, along with rising sea levels. This destruction began at the end of the 2nd century, and by the time the 8th century was wrapping up, the city was below the Mediterranean Sea. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal, you just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 9. A Giant Eyeball our second item in this video wasn't really found deep in seawater by some diver. Rather, it was discovered on Pompano Beach in Florida, just lying there. Finding stuff on the beach this way is only natural thanks to water currents moving back and forth. But something like a giant eyeball is sure to raise attention. The ball is said to have been the size of a softball, and whatever creature it belonged to must have been remarkably huge. And it has never been known up to this day. The guy who picked it up handed it to the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, who forwarded it to the Fish and Wildlife Research Institute for further studies. Scientists were speculating that the eyeball might have belonged to a large fish like a tuna. But according to National Geographic, the most likely owner of this big eye was a squid. Why? Squids generally have their eyes embedded in soft tissues, hence easier to detach. This was later disproved after it emerged that the eyeball was surrounded by a bony structure. This, among other properties, like the color, has led to scientists to believe that the eye once belonged to swordfish and was probably cut out by a fisherman. Number 8. An Undersea River This was discovered in 2010 by scientists at the University of Leeds. Named the Black Sea Undersea River, it is the first such known stream. That said, such streams have always been picked up in the past by sonar scanning. The discovery of the Black Sea Stream provided proof that these streams were just like surface rivers. One of the largest rivers of this kind runs below the Amazon River from its mouth into the Atlantic Ocean. But such rivers are usually unpredictable and possess immense power, rendering explicit studies a major challenge. Just like the surface rivers, the Black Sea Undersea River has the usual features like waterfalls, riverbanks, rapids, and floodplains. Interesting, right? Let's hope it'll be sooner before scientists figure out a safe way to uncover more information about these underwater rivers. Number 7. Oarfish Oarfish are top contenders in the fish kingdom as far as size is concerned. At a length of roughly 8 meters at maturity, they're the longest bony fish alive today. You would expect that they're a common sight with such conspicuous body frames, but nope. They're deep sea swimmers and come in shallow waters only rarely. An oarfish swimming closer to the shore means that it's most likely looking to die or, on rare occasions, injured. That's why most of the oarfish that have been spotted near the surface are usually dead. To catch these beasts in their most real glory, you'll have to venture down between 200 and 1,000 meters in temperate and tropical oceans where they frequent. At these depths, 
the currents are way weaker as compared to the surface waters. This has eliminated the need for the oarfish to develop stronger muscles, which means they're poor swimmers. A toss to the surface and they'll be dead in no time. Footages of these deep sea serpents are far in between, which has made them a subject of modern day legends. The most notable recording was back in 2016 in an episode of River Monsters by Jeremy Wade. Number six, a frilled shark. Frilled sharks are even rarer when compared to oarfish, although they don't usually swim as deep. They've been observed mostly at depths of between 50 to 200 meters, but some can go as far as 1500 meters. It has been studied by scientists from 1879 when it was first described by a German ichthyologist. Being such a rare animal, the frill shark was only recorded on video just recently in 2004 on the Blake Plateau off the U.S. coast in the Atlantic Ocean. One of the most unique properties of this shark is its resemblance to now extinct shark lineages. For this, it has been referred to in some instances as a living fossil. Also, it has the longest gestation period among vertebrates, lasting as long as three years. Unlike regular sharks, the frilled shark is considerably weaker, both in swimming and delivering bites. Its long and more flexible jaws give it the ability to swallow prey as large as half its size. Number five, Antikythera Mechanism. Computers are among the most ingenious inventions of our time. The analytical engine invented by Charles Babbage in 1833 is considered to be close enough to the modern day computers. Hence, it's usually referred to as the first computer. But is it? The discovery of the Antikythera mechanism is seemed to change this notion. This unique piece of ancient technology was recovered from a shipwreck near the waters of the Greek island of Antikythera, hence the name. The exact time during which it was used remains unclear, but it is said to be as far back as 70 to 60 BC, which is the time before the shipwreck. Although discovered in 1901, it wasn't until 1959 when its purpose was known. It's described as an ancient Greek analog computer that could predict various positions of both stars and planets for up to several decades in advance. This was an explanation offered by Derek J. DiSola, a science historian at Princeton University. So it seems the first computer hit the scene a little earlier than we thought. But most intriguing is how such a sophisticated device was constructed during that time. Number four, an underwater sculpture park. This is one of the most unique underwater features that are a result of human effort. The most popular is found off the coast of Grenada, West Indies, and is called the Molinier Underwater Sculpture Park. The unique park has been in operation since May 2006 and can be spooky if accidentally ran into the figurines collection. It was discovered by British sculptor Jason DeCartis Taylor to get the locals to be interested in the underwater world around them. But the park has served more than this. Most importantly, it has helped reduce strain on the coral reefs in the area, thus conserving the environment to some extent. In total, the park covers an area of about 800 square meters and is made up of over 60 individual statues. Number three, ancient pills. Maritime history is dotted with enough shipwrecks than anyone would care to count. And it's through these ship remains that we get clues of how ancient civilizations went about their lives. While the focus is usually on jewels and other durable artifacts that survive, it's also possible to find the most unlikely things, like pills, for instance. Think about it, your average pills will disintegrate as soon as you come in contact with water for a prolonged time. Now imagine the same pills staying under the sea for more than 2,000 years. They were probably non-existent, right? As it turns out, this is not always the case. Between the 1980s and 1990s, a team of archaeologists stumbled on, among other finds, five pills from an ancient Roman shipwreck. Thanks to the tightly sealed containers they had been stored in, the pills remained dry for all those years, providing a rare glimpse into antiquity treatment. After careful chemical analysis, researchers figured the pills might have been used as an eye medicine. Now it's time for today's best pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. So if you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it in a future video. Number two, Jason Voorhees statue. Jason Voorhees is a familiar name if you've encountered Friday the 13th, a horror franchise created in 1980 packaged into different media. 
It's made up of comic books, 12 slasher films, novels, a TV series, and video games. In the franchise, the main character is a boy named Jason Voorhees who drowns at Camp Crystal Lake supposedly due to negligence. And so, the lake remains a cursed ground with a series of murders ensuing several years later, all connected in some way to the dead boy. That's all fiction. But someone decided to bring the whole idea to life in 2013. Zachary Nagy, a scuba diver, created Jason's statue and planted it into Lake Pleasant in Arizona. Imagine the horror of bumping into such a feature in the deep waters of the lake. Terrifying, huh? Or as if you've come across the Friday the 13th horror story. But some people didn't seem to like the idea of having the caricature down there in the lake. And no, it has nothing to do with it being scary. Some Arizona residents, including a park official, considered it trash. Hence, the last time the statue was in the limelight, there were plans to remove it from the bottom of the lake. Number 1. A Vampire Squid Though referred to as a squid, this interesting deep sea dweller is closely related to not just regular squid, but also the octopi. In fact, when it was first spotted in 1903, it was thought to be an octopus until later on when it was changed. It has eight arms, all of which are connected by a webbing of skin, and the squid can grow to as much as 30 centimeters in length. The skin pigmentation, on the other hand, varies with lighting conditions and location, but usually the color varies between pale reddish and a jet black shade. Vampire squids dwell in tropical oceans across the globe, but only in the deepest waters where most marine life won't survive. These are regions between 600 and 900 meters, where the oxygen concentration in the water is too low and light is non-existent. The vampire squid has developed a more efficient way of transporting oxygen around its body as compared to other members of its class. This ensures that it survives the rather unfavorable conditions. The mechanism against predation, on the other hand, is highly dependent on just how agitated the squid is. A slight disturbance will lead to it curling its arms outwards, just enough to reveal spiky structures. But a more pronounced disturbance will lead to the squid ejecting bioluminescent mucus that can last up to 10 minutes. This gives it just enough time to disappear without having to swim too far away. <laughs>